chat i want to talk i want to talk to y'all for a second i was talking about on my twitter about characters who are not in who are not the main characters of their of their of their movie or book but are still like super hot i was talking about how the broom the broom flying teacher from harry potter was fine as so does anybody else have that in that you know you know what i mean was there any like background characters where you were like damn I'm kind of hard right now, <laughs> like you know what I mean. If I ever find her, come on now. The broom flying teacher looked like Zach. Cause, dude, I thought it was her. So you're right. You're right. Rolanda Hooch. Yes, she's fine as hell. To this day. To this day, I will pipe. To this day, I looked up the actress. I was like, damn, she got Instagram. Yeah, she's 70. Chat. I'll still do it. I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. Never long bottom looking kind of nice though. He ain't got that long bottom. <laughs> Meryl Streep is one of my one of my biggest crushes. You don't think I'm going after a seven year old? I'm I'm on it. I'm all over it. I'd smash Margaret Thatcher. Hey, you are a problem. Margaret Thatcher is a demon. It's not even about how she looked. It's about who she was. You're crazy. A woman leader who degrades feminism, huge. It's not just that. She just had, like, every wrong idea ever. She was like the Ronald Reagan of fucking English people. Shitty fast food. Aw, oh, bro, I got a story for you. Man, I got a story for you. Okay, so this was my second worst job at the Taco Bell. I worked at the Taco Bell my freshman year of college. I got the job because I spent my money really terribly. I had a bunch of money, and then I... And then I, uh basically had no money for the rest of the semester so i was like damn i need to go get a job went to an open interview at a taco bell i got the job that same day about two months into working there i got really sick i got i had laryngitis and pharyngitis in my throat felt like shit felt like i had strep throat but it i like my throat was closed like i could not breathe it felt like it felt like there were nails like scratching my shit up when i woke up i could not breathe i went straight to the er I was a cashier chat so I have to talk I have to talk that was my job to talk to the people in the window talk to the people in the front of the store I t I was like hey can I get a doctor's note because I have to go to my job I need to let them know that I'm too sick to get coming to work gave me a doctor's note I took the doctor's note to the Taco Bell I didn't even say anything I just handed it to him I was like hey I'm sick this is how I talk I was like hey I'm sick I can't come in to work today and the manager who was working at the time was really cool um i can't remember his name but he was like a tall skinny white dude he's like oh, okay i understand you know get better soon this is you know this is obviously a real doctor's note whatever i go home and i go to sleep for the whole day my throat hurt i had to take a bunch of medicine it, was, it wasn't fun the next day chat i had i was supposed to work at noon i didn't go in because i gave them the doctor's note they called me at 2 p.m they said hey you need to come to work. I said, hold on. Actually, hold on. I said, I gave you guys a doctor's note. I'm still really sick. I'm not going to be coming in until like Monday, until like next week. And they said, your doctor's note didn't even excuse you for the day because they didn't write how long you should be out for. The doctor's note said that you were just too sick to work. So I was like, I was like, I can't come in. So they were like, if you don't come in here right, if you don't come in right now to work, you're going to get fired. And mind you, that shit's contagious, right? The sickness that I had is contagious. It's contagious. I go in there and I go in there and I, I, I have a mask on and I'm like, hey, I can't fucking work. And then the manager who was this other dude and he was just this fucking asshole. So I go in and it's this, he's just this little short frumpy asshole. And I, I, I tell him I can't work and he's like, he was like, well, you don't have to be cashier today. You can just be in the back and do dishes for six hours. I was like, bitch, are you serious? I'm sick. It's not that I can't talk. That's not the issue. It's that my throat hurts. It hurts to breathe. It hurts to walk around. Like I need to rest and I need to take my fucking medicine. Mind you, mind you, mind you, this is the first time 
ever since I got the goddamn job that I had ever not been able to make it into work. I was like, I'm not going to do dishes. I was like, I'm not going to do dishes. So then they were like, if you go home, you got to turn your stuff in because you're fired. So I was like, okay, I, I quit then. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? It gets better though, chat. It gets better. First of all, first of all, it was the day. It was two days after my birthday. I got sick the day after my birthday. I took PE online. How the fuck you take PE online? Hey, no, hold on, 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 hold on. Look at hey, check this out. Look. Hey, if you took uh P online, this is what your shit, this is what they had you doing. This is what P online looks like. <laughs> this P online. You in a Zoom call doing this shit. Shake your butt. That's nice. Now think about your dad. <laughs> they had you in they had you in online PE thinking about your dad. <laughs> Have you seen Belle Delphine porn video? If so, why is she so bad at sucking? All right, Chad, do you guys really want to talk about this today? Because it, you, it is a horny topic. I have seen it and we can talk about it if you want. Y'all are down bad. Anyway, all right, let's talk about it. That shit was trash. She, she sucks. That was the worst porn I've ever seen in my entire life. That shit was like D, D grade. I watched it just because, like, I have to stay up to date on the internet culture. I was Are like, you sure know, about that? It's going to be fire, you know what I'm saying? Because then, you know, we can make memes about it, you know? That shit was terrible. She wasn't sucking no penis right. She wasn't She wasn't handling no balls. She wasn't getting into it. She was, eh, 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 eh. It was, it was just terrible. I said, I can't beat to this. <laughs> I can't get jiggy to this shit. <laughs> Worse than amateur? Absolutely. Belle Delphine's porn is the worst celebrity-esque thing I've ever seen. As a matter of fact, it might be the worst porn I've ever seen in my life. And then she whoops out the PS5, bro, bro, bro. That's facts. <laughs> what a fucking flex. <laughs> What's the best one I've seen? The best celebrity one? The, the Kim Kardashian one is, it is what it is for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Bella had bad form and technique. I didn't even see hers. I was like, nah, that shit gonna stink. It's gonna stink through the phone. Yeah, it smells like meat. That, yeah, when I was watching, I was like, stinks in here. <laughs> it smells, smells like, like, like meat. meat. I said, kids, why would you bring that Bella Thorne in here of all places? <laughs> <laughs> the Paracel one sucked. The China one, the WWF China, hers was kind of dope, but you, you gotta like muscly women, which I do. Knuckles, what did you just say? Hey, stop the beat. Stop the beat. Stop everything. I can't even I can't even finish what I'm talking about. Knuckles just said Trisha Paytas goes fire. on the feed i don't care if it was on the feed or not you should have seen it and you should have known exactly what was gonna happen i can't i i can't i can't i can't believe what I, <laughs> i'm stunned bro <laughs> there's not even a meme that can make up for that bro you you said that you did that you gotta live with that <laughs> never talk about this shit again ever <laughs> I think he need to be put on the spot again. I think he never gets to talk in this chat again. You <laughs> go think about what you've done. We all love you, Knuckles. Don't let, and if nobody else loves you, Knuckles, I love you, Knuckles. Damn it. All right. Let's talk about a whole lot of red for just a second. Let's get our, let's wash our, let's wash the filth. Let's wash the filth from our brain. A whole lot of red just ain't good, man. It's, it's, it's like below mid. It's in that mm-mm, it's in that mm-mm tier, you know what I mean? You keep waiting for something to hit and it just never hits. It sounds like, sounds like Nav's old albums. <clears throat> the only song that I thought was good on there was Metamorphosis. That was the only one. The one with Kid Cudi. Every other one was just like, meh. Bitch, I'm a thot. Give me lit. One in the clip. 
I played the first song and turned it off. Damn. Mario Luigi better than Cardi. Don't disrespect. Wiz Khalifa laugh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Flight, dude, that laugh, he had to craft that shit in a factory because that's different. It's like that, ah, but he just like, he makes it go so fluidly. We got to watch the clip. All right, hold on. <laughs> How does he do that? Isn't Flight like actually intelligence and the streams are just an act? Yeah, of course. Flight's not that stupid. <laughs> His laugh isn't, it's not even like that, but golly, that shit is funny. <laughs> I wish I laughed like that. I'd be laughing every second of my life. There's no physical way a human laughs like that. Yeah, that's an act. He's laughed, he's laughed alive before and it's not like that. <laughs> Still funny though. Where am I at in this? Oh my God. <laughs>